Coming up, we'll show you how one local teacher is preparing her classroom to welcome students back while also keeping them safe. And the Rapid City School District is making some adjustments as students get ready to head back to class. Why the district is opting for a later start date. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Four and a half months ago, schools across South Dakota closed due to the pandemic. That led many districts to teach their students through remote learning. Now, Governor Christy Nome wants kids back in school buildings. She says online learning is not a long-term solution, and many districts have not heard from some of their students since March. We cannot sacrifice the educational, physical, emotional, and social well-being of our kids. The risks of COVID are too minimal for us to make sure that they're all going to stay home. Governor Nome is not mandating that school districts require masks for students. She says it's important for kids to wash their hands on a regular basis throughout the day. Full-time teachers are also preparing for their own challenges this year. Micah Siegel is back in her Hayward Elementary classroom getting it ready for COVID-19 guidelines. That includes keeping the desks spaced apart and having extra cleaning supplies. Overall, Siegel feels good about the return to learn plan. She says remote learning was tough for some of the third graders and is ready to have them back in class with her. By all means, I'm not a doctor or nurse, but we, we expect them to be there for us when we need them. And they're on the front lines. And I'm not saving lives, but I, I'm really willing to be here for what I know is best for kids. This week, other teachers have voiced concerns about returning to school. A few at this week's school board meeting urged the district to mandate masks. The district says it expects students and staff to wear masks. However, it's not mandatory right now. Handing out backpacks filled with school supplies will look a lot different for the banquet this year due to COVID-19. Volunteers are working hard to pack more than 6,000 backpacks for Project SOS. This year, distribution will be done through deliveries and pickup thanks to a partnership with the Helpline Center. Project SOS is just a valuable project in our community, and we hear the need on the phone, so we wanted to ensure that it was still going to be able to be possible this year. So at 211, we're helping with signups and we're helping with the technology, and then through our um, national grant we received, we're able to deliver those through DoorDash. The physical distribution of backpacks will happen from August 10th through the 22nd. If you'd like to sign up for a backpack from Project SOS, we've provided links right here on Kelloland.com. Well, turning to weather now, storms moved through parts of Kelloland yesterday. But are there more storms on the way? Let's find out with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. All right. Good morning, you too. Good morning, Kelloland. Uh, we already have some showers and thunderstorms this morning that you can always check on Kelloland.com. Uh, use our interactive radar tool there, and you can zoom in and see what's going on. And the areas that are receiving the rain this morning, the central and north central South Dakota, and has been heavy at times. Our highest rain chance for today probably found across western Kelloland, where I expect uh, developing thunderstorm showers and thunderstorms as we go through the day today and it will become a little more widespread in the western kettle lamp. Otherwise, high temperatures for the next several days real close to average. Isolated rain chances this weekend with limited moisture in place. More details on your forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. Rapid City Area Schools are pushing back their start date from August 26th to September 8th. The school board president and public information managers say there are several reasons why. One is to give teachers and staff extra time to prepare for the school year. Another is to monitor for a surge in positive COVID-19 cases after the Central States Fair and Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. We know that people want to know what's happening this school year and it's really taken us a lot of time and a lot of conversation to come up with a plan and you know, the logistics around what school is going to look like when it starts this fall. Later this week, a proposed start plan will be posted online. Parents will be able to share concerns and ideas before the plan is voted on next week. The Barrel House in Sioux Falls has closed its doors after two employees tested positive for COVID-19. Owner Mark Fonder and his staff say it was a tough decision, but one that needed to be done to show the public they are taking every precaution to keep customers and staff safe. We're doing everything that we can do to protect Sioux Falls and our staff. And yeah, it was a tough decision. I mean, it was. So that decision is today. That decision might be again next month and the month after that. 
The barrel house says while closed, it'll be sanitizing and doing some deep cleaning so it can reopen on Monday. On Monday, the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference announced a delayed start to its fall sports seasons. It'll begin in late September with players allowed to practice in the beginning of the month. The conference and its members discussed every possibility, including the potential of pushing the fall season into the spring. Ultimately, though, they decided on the delayed start to the fall season. It seemed like the most momentum and the most traction was in the delayed fall sport. Um, we wanted to still give all our athletes the opportunity to compete for a championship, and the NCAA still is hosting championships um, in the fall, so that was critical to try to stay in line with that. Football and cross-country seasons are set to begin on September 26th, while volleyball and soccer will start on October 2nd. Fall sports in the Summit League will also be delayed this year due to the pandemic. The Summit League President's Council announced the start of fall sports will be pushed back to September 23rd. Men's and women's soccer as well as volleyball will play conference-only schedules. Cross-country golf and tennis will also be delayed until September. The league says training and practices will continue at the discretion of each school with NCAA regulations as well as local health and safety guidelines. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get a last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. All right, weather it is, and we do see scattered showers and some thunderstorms today. Central and western Kettleland are really the prime areas to watch on that. I think Sioux Falls will probably be teased by a couple of things later in the afternoon. Uh, we're kind of watching to see how things sprout up. Maybe Mitchell, maybe Yankton here. That's a more favorable zone, but... Sioux Falls will be close enough to that to warrant a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Aberdeen and Watertown will probably get missed. And then uh, we're going to watch the overnight forecast for additional rain chances for Rapid City and Pier. And tomorrow, the rain chance will linger in the west and the southwest. Meanwhile, Sioux Falls will probably kick in that northeast wind and likely staying dry most of the day. But there is another front to the north on Friday, and that may spread in a chance of rain to start the weekend. But Again, that'll probably be scattered in nature. 80s for highs today, about 86 degrees there in Aberdeen. Our forecast on the seven-day, I would say low 80s are pretty common into the weekend with that chance of rain Friday night, early Saturday, and early next week. Not a whole lot of change there. Looks like a comfortable forecast. Aberdeen in the northeast, we're looking at uh, just a 20% chance of rain Friday afternoon and looks like into early Saturday as well. That may linger. Otherwise, uh, Pier Central, South Dakota, your best odds of rain will be today and tomorrow. And then highs staying in the 80s into next week. And likewise, Rapid City should, should see the best chances of rain at the beginning of the forecast. And highs cooling a little bit there tomorrow. That's a check of your weather and more details with your forecast at Kettleland.com. Have a great day.